Hello everyone and welcome to Extinct Breaks Official. Today I'll be showing you my Lego compatible custom Jurassic Park Parasaurolophus. It's been a while since my last post and I hope that everyone is healthy and safe during these trying times. And to keep our spirits up, I have decided to upload the completed Parasaurolophus custom. And although this is already version 2 of the Parasaurolophus, I am very excited that I have actually and finally made the proper Parasaurolophus. This figure is based from the, the Lost World Parasaurolophus and also a little bit from the Jurassic World Evolution game. Alright, I know that all of you are all so excited, so let's take a look closer. The most stunning feature of the Parasaurolophus is the crest on its head. It's also known as the um, nasal crest as we call it. We now know that it serves for display and communication, allowing the animals to remain in contact over distance by amplifying their haunting beautiful cries. Just magnificent. Now, I wanted this Parasaurolophus to be able to stand on its two feet, like so, so that it will be bipedal and also it can uh, transition to this pose uh, for it to be quadrupedal. I actually like both stands, but when feeding, I think the Parasaurolophus will have the quadrupedal pose rather than uh, standing up on uh, two feet. The um, front legs uh, has uh, feet that have uh, four fingers in it and one of which was uh, a rudimentary finger. Let's break it off and let's assemble it. This figure has 10 parts to it. Let's start with the head connecting it with the other parts until it is completed. That completes the Parasaurolophus. Now let's have some size comparison. So here is the figure beside um, EB, a minifigure, and at estimate um, length it is around 7 meters, which is a bit smaller than the um, original Parasaurolophus will carry, which is at 10, uh, 10 meters or 33. Uh, feet. Now let's move it aside and let's see how it compares with the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Great roar Rexy, good job! Now you can see here that Rexy is a lot bigger than the Parasaurolophus and can easily make a meal out of it. <laughs> Just kidding. Here are a few photo stills and a 360-degree view of the Parasaurolophus. A few JP facts, Parasaurolophus was created by Injun in their compound on Isla Sorna. The clones resembled the species of Parasaurolophus valkyrie, but were shorter than the real animal, being 7 meters in length instead of 10 meters. Although the clones are capable of walking on all fours and two legs, it mostly stood upright nearly dragging its tail unlike the original. They had three skin variants, beige, greenish, and beige green. This one is the beige um, variant that I made. In Jurassic World, 
Archerolphus was one of the many dinosaurs that live as an attraction for the Mastrani Global Corporation's Jurassic World. Because of their close resemblance to the previously created clones, it is possible that those that live in the park originated from the dinosaurs transported from Isla Sorna in 2004. That's all for the facts now. TV has some feeding chores to do. I hope you liked the video and there will be more videos uploaded soon. If you like the contents of my videos and enjoy watching them, please do like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Extinct Breaks Official. Thanks and salamat!